Hello guys, another video from my car as every Saturday and today I have one of the most controversial title on YouTube that you don't need to know, design patterns or solid principles in code. And what do I mean by that? The key point is to know the main word I want to emphasize and let me explain. You don't need to know them, you don't need to necessarily know how they are called and what is the theory behind them if you still provide good code. So I know a lot of developers who don't have theoretical knowledge of design patterns, solid principles, stuff underneath Laravel framework itself, but they still write good code from common sense patterns. And in my opinion, it's totally fine. I get asked quite a lot to create content about like design patterns and solid principles, and I do have a course about solid principles, but it still sounds so theoretical. So all the principles, if you look about them online, it's mostly about examples of theoretical classes, almost like full bar or something like dog and cat in object-oriented programming. Some of them are closer to real life scenario, but still most of them are theoretical. And my point is that you don't need to have that theoretical knowledge to write good code. A lot of patterns you do use even without realizing that. So for example, in Laravel, have you written eloquent query, user, where, group by, and get? Guess what? Each of those methods work in a builder pattern. So the way how you build eloquent query or query builder query, that's why it's called query builder. So you build the object, adding methods to that with various parameters, and then at the end of that you get the object, which calls the get and returns the result. That's the builder pattern. Do you need to know that it is builder pattern? No, you just need to know how to use it. And maybe you would think that, oh, cool, query builder works in a way that I like, so I will create my own object in a similar way by building the methods, returning this from every method, and then you can chain the methods and create the object in that way without even knowing that it is actually called a builder pattern. Similar example from solid principles, the first principle is about single responsibility. It's kind of like a common sense. So each method and each class should have only one purpose and should be kind of as small as possible in terms of scope. You would feel that you need to code this way after you spend hours debugging a longer method and you would want to shorten the methods and restructure your code into solid principle. Do you need to know that solid principle? Not necessarily. Another example is Laravel service container. So I get asked to shoot a video about a service container. Guess what? If you used form request classes in Laravel, so for example, store method in your controller, and then one of the parameter is like store user request class. Guess what? You have used service container. Did you know about that? Not necessarily. So service container auto completed, auto resolved the form request class for you, and you didn't even know how it works under the hood. So those examples are all over the place. Now, do I say that you don't need those patterns at all? No, it is beneficial, especially if you work on more complicated project to know those patterns and recognize them in order to repeat those patterns and talk with other developers with the same language. That's why those titles were introduced in the first place to have common language for the patterns. But do you need to actually study the patterns, learn them by heart, and know their names? No. In my opinion, it comes with the practice. So the more projects you create, the more patterns you recognize, you use yourself, you create your projects with those patterns after seeing other people's code, and it all comes together in your head for future projects, and your code gets better with the structure that you choose, and maybe one day others will learn from your structure, from your patterns, without even knowing how they are called. So this is my thought, a bit controversial, but I'm a big fan of practical knowledge and practical learning instead of learning a lot of theory. What do you think? Let's argue and discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time, and see you guys in other videos.